The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but perpetrators despise wisdom and instruction. My son, if gangstalkers entice thee, consent thou not. If perpetrators say, Come with us, let us lurk privily for targeted individuals without cause. Let us swallow victims up alive as the grave, and whole as those that go down to the pit. We shall find all precious rewards. We shall fill our houses with perks. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one collective. My son, walk not thou in the way with gang stalkers. Refrain thy foot from their company. For perpetrators' feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the, night, in the sight of any targeted individual, and gang stalkers lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of every gang stalker that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of targeted individuals thereof. So, there you have it. The very first chapter of Proverbs by Solomon addresses gang stalking, with some special editing by me, of course. This will give you a clue that gang stalking, mobbing, and bullying are systems of persecution and have been around as long as man, woman, and collectives have been on earth. The only thing that has changed over thousands of years is the terminology that is used. Oh, and by the way, did you notice in that proverb that they even go after their own too? Yeah, the perpetrators, the gang stalkers, don't even trust their own kind and will feed them to the wolves too at any hint of disloyalty. So how do we find this word, this word gang stalking? What are the roots of this word? Who coined this term? When did this meme come into existence? What are the percentage of people who have heard of this? What is the percentage of people whom are targeted? What I will do here is try my best at defining this term because the other questions would require some additional research which would be beyond the scope of this uh, video and audio recording. In my opinion, a gang is a, any conscious collective of two or more persons that share the same idealism or goals. Stalking, mobbing, and bullying are systematic acts of surveillance and profiling, which eventually turns into harassment of a targeted individual. Before addressing the aspects of gang stalking, I want to quickly make a public service announcement. First of all, I know a lot of my local area perpetrators follow my channels quite closely. These cretins are always looking for something to uh, throw back in my face either as an obscene gesture, a memento, a catchphrase, or some other kind of cue. As Govinda Tidball once stated, quote, the gang stalkers are always looking for a hook which they can use against a targeted individual. That's because they have no original ideas of their own. The best they can do is their typical bait and switch tactics, unquote. Second of all, there are targeted individuals out there that are starting to wake up just like Neo from the Matrix movie, and are realizing that something just isn't right in their milieu. There are things which are occurring on a statistically significant basis that didn't happen a year or two or three ago. So if you are one of those who are just waking up to this reality, take a deep breath and relax, because in this video is especially for you uh, information that will help you uh, cope with a lot of details. You will learn about the basics of the system but most importantly, how to survive, live, and walk over and through these scorpions and serpents. Thirdly, I want to send a message to you trolls out there. Don't even think about leaving any of your stupid, vain, obscene, and threatening comments about this video. Your tactics are so boring and childish. I don't waste any of my time on your channel or channels because you, you aren't important. You aren't important to me. However, I know I'm important to you because you took the time to watch this video. So, it's up pretty obvious that I'm in your head, whether you like it or not. So how do you like those apples? Now that we have somewhat of a working definition of gang stalking, it's now time to try and describe this system. Describing the gang stalking system and its takedown components will be like walking into and through the twilight zone. The easiest way probably is to approach it like how Jesus used parables. Jesus talked about a pearl a few times in scripture and he likened those 
parables to the kingdom of heaven. Likewise, there is no one way or method on how to describe what gang stalking is. It's actually a whole grouping of many shared elements and common characteristics of secret societies, social clubs, cults, global crime syndicates, professional networks, professional societies, military ranking, community organization, top-down corporate structuring, psyops, and, and etc. Also, the system is highly compartmentalized and has its own hierarchy of handlers and controllers, which prevents the right hand knowing what the left hand is doing. Plus, there are different groups with different goals and objectives in mind. Yes, they do share information between groups. However, they are also at odds and, and war against each other too. And they spy on, each, spy on and stalk each other also. As a targeted individual, you won't ever see this personally. You'll just have to take my word on this one. By now, you should be getting the idea that this system is multi-layered and very sophisticated. Do some research into the Stasi after watching this video because it's a big clue in, into how this system works. The Stasi was the East German secret police. They used ordinary citizens as their grunts or foot soldiers. They pretty much uh, perfected the tactics, techniques, and organizational system which are uh, used globally nowadays. If you are still awake and keeping up with this video, what is jumping out at you right now? Let me give you a clue. East Germany. Think this over, because we'll come back to this later in this video. The newly awakened TI will literally drive themselves nuts trying to figure out all of this stuff. The why and the who. There's a lot of good information and references on the web. However, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. In other words, there's a lot of deception and disinformation by fake TIs and perpetrators. So how does one determine who is legit and who isn't in regards to being a targeted individual? That's a damn tough question to answer. Of course, good discernment skills help. The problem is that if you are so stressed out by constant attacks, mistakes and discernment will happen and the weasels will wiggle their way into your drama. However, the Lord will bring you to one of to one or two TIs that are seasoned survivors and can provide you with useful and life-saving advice. Yep, I have met some legit TIs which, which have saved my butt from making some pretty big uh, potential blunders. My rule of thumb, if someone gives me advice which seems questionable or self-destructive, then I keep my distance from them. As time goes by, you'll develop your own survival skills. I was told this years ago, and this is true. So why is this happening? Who is behind all of this? That's the two big questions that targeted individuals always ask themselves over and over again. I'm going to start out with the second question first. Who is behind all of this? Do you remember my analogy of the parable of the pearl by Jesus as he described the kingdom of heaven? Do you remember my uh, description of the parabolic use of it in regards to gang stalking? Think SSDD. Same shit, different description. I'm going to try to do my best here without being overly conspiratorial minded. In my, in my opinion, there's no one single group doing this. There are groups upon groups and groups within groups that are involved. Like I said, they are highly compartmentalized, segregated, and yet connected and part of a collective hive mind. Let's stop right there. Did you get that? Collective hive mind. That's what gives them their power, just like the beast system in Revelations. On their own, these Cretans are powerless and pathetic losers. And they all have their own goals, objectives, expected outcomes, and purposes. Another way to look at this is like the movie The Matrix. Basically, everyone in your social network is a potential sleeper and will betray you for a reward or some kind of perk. Does that sound like Solomon and Proverbs from the introduction? From the TIs I know who are our monarch mind controlled victims, they can testify pretty readily about the percentage of social contacts that are in on the gig that's against them. It's not a pretty picture at all. However, these special TIs are very strong spirits. They probably can be compared to the main character in the movie Carrie 
and if a certain line is crossed, the perpetrators will get smoked. As if Daniel always has said, if you touch one of God's anointed, you will get smoked by the Lord. As if has left a pretty long body count after him over the years, that uh, these here people have been uh, mean to him, and uh, uh, karma has caught up with them. Yeah, I know I've been rambling on, and you are itching to know who's behind it all. Here's the thing. This snake pit and rabbit hole is so large and deep and complex that the best that anyone can do is scratch the surface of it. Let's look, dig a little deeper and see if we can find some snakes and rabbits. This whole human existence is about rewards versus punishment. And it's about bling, trinkets, favors, and perks. And the planetary controllers know and understand this about human behavior. The level of psychology and manipulation which they understand is way beyond anything you could ever possibly imagine. Your so-called PhD and MD psychologists and psychiatrists aren't even privy, privy to this information. These planetary controllers, like any psychopath, use this knowledge only for their own benefit of oppressing everyone below themselves. They are vampires who feed off of the lower ranks, so they must have some kind of system which they can use to at least control the unapproved of ones who don't buy into their propaganda and threaten their empire, goals, or what have you. So yes, this system is top-down hierarchy and multi-layered system, system like a military ranking system. The system determines when and where a war will occur. It will determine when and where an economic crisis will occur. It will determine what country rises and what country gets destroyed. So this psychopathic system filters all the way down and even to your local area perpetrators and gang stalkers. What I'm trying to say or help you with is that is that to stop your finger pointing for a moment and saying it's this group or that group. I want to show you a bigger picture than you can ever imagine existed. What it all comes down to from that very top secret level is the money trail. Someone has to be funding all of this. Does, it, does this make sense? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Think large multinational corporations. Think 501c3 organizations. Think foreign governments. Think political parties. Think industrial military complex. Think international organizations. Think national foundation. This list goes on and on like a broken record, but the message here is that big money is involved. Here's the shocker that you aren't ready for. Gang stalking is primarily used in communist countries to squelch anyone who speaks up and says that, a, that the emperor has no clothes on and he is naked. For example, in Russia it's quite common to send dissidents to a mental hospital or spread rumors that a particular person has psych issues. In China, I suppose, he has just get taken back out behind uh, a shed or whatever and shot in the back of the head and then their organs get harvested harvested on the black market. Yeah, now that now did that did you read between the lines in regards to the communist countries? Or do you think my association of communists with co communism with gang stalking is a spurious conclusion? But think about this. In nineteen fifty nine or so Khrushchev did say we will take over America one day. But that's an opinion. Well, I've heard about that and read of that, and uh, a good friend of mine, it's an opinion of, opinion of his, and he's done a lot of research into uh, communism and how they go about taking over under other countries. It's a long, long process, but uh, that's how they do it. And anyways, his... Uh, his uh, ideas make a lot of sense to me anyways. Uh, and then that was uh, Brother Thomas that uh, talked about that and has done that research. But this is the point I wanted to get across to a new TI. There is so much more than you'll ever realize. And there is so much disinformation of design to send you on a wild goose chase forever. And the perps and the stalkers you come into contact on a daily basis, they are just the lowest of all the scumbags in their system. Actually, they volunteered to do their dirty deeds for free. Yeah, that's right. These perps and stalkers aren't getting paid financially. 
They are simply getting their rocks off for a different and twisted reason. Huh. Go figure. Now you may be asking yourself, where are these tormentors recruited from? This is probably the easiest question to answer. They are recruited from every social, economic, occupational, political, civilian, governmental, criminal, religious denomination, local, national, and international level one could ever imagine. And how are these people recruited into doing what they do and being part of the collective hive mindset? Think hard on this. Lies, lies, and more lies. People, generally speaking, love to swallow lies because that's their nature and gossiping is very addicting for most people. The controllers and handlers of the system know and understand this fact inside and out and that's why it's effective and they use it. If a perpetrator can imprint a negative perception of a TI into a willing dupe, then that dupe is that gang stalker's property and slave in one way, shape, or form forever. That's right. You trolls, gang stalkers, and perpetrators are just willing and useless slaves. And when your usefulness is over, you will be fingered out and exposed just like the Stasi civilian slaves and spies were when the, Bern when the Berlin Wall crumbled and fell. You see, corruption eventually kills itself from the inside and out. I call this karma. Why me? What did I do to deserve this harassment? This is a very difficult answer. Uh, diffi this is very difficult to answer, and each case is uh, unique in itself. However, there are probably five main reasons. It's because there's something very special and spiritual in you that repulses them. You know something about someone and their activities which they don't want uh, exposed. You are a little bit different than others. You don't have a seared conscience like them, or the system was alerted by the fact that you started questioning their control grid by searching for answers, like Neo in the movie uh, The Matrix. Plus, anyone who goes on the internet is a potential targeted individual. Now, here's where the real Twilight Zone comes into view. Find anyone who admits openly that they or a family member was involved in a monarch program or any military secret program and you will discover that their life is a living nightmare because of their harassment via the gang stalking. All in all, when a targeted individual starts waking up, they tend to be their own worst enemy. They start to notice everything and suspect everyone. This is a natural reaction and part of the psyops presented to the TI via uh, various stimuli. It's deception too. The perpetrators want you to think that everybody is in on this gag. In this gag, yeah, actually this gig. In fact, in most cases, very few people are involved. But the ones who run this harassment program know how to create that illusion of a large amount of people. Generally, their recruited collective hive-minded dupes are very delusional, twisted, and sick-minded with sociopathic and psychopathic tendency. They are doodle. They are delusional because they think they are part of an important public service campaign to protect society. They are twisted and sick-minded because they lack any true empathy towards others. Sociopathic and psychopathic because they are control freaks and will do anything to others in order to get their way or goal. The best way to describe their behaviors is by a couple of analogies. If a lamb and two wolves are discussing what's for dinner, guess what's going to get served? And the vampire movies are classic in regards to these people because they typically feed off of and get energized by, tra by uh, traumatizing others. What can be done? The worst thing to do is to do nothing and be physically and psychologically inert. That's what they want you to be, to silently suffer at home or wherever you are at. In our present day period of wimpy, politically correct collective, collectiveness, there are still unique ways to get these cretins by their short hairs. 
I have my tools and methods and you will develop your own setup over time and how to keep them busy and off guard. If there is anything which these animals respond to faster than anything else is fear. On the outside they seem cocky, confident, arrogant and haughty and try everything they can in their playbooks and algorithms to intimidate, humiliate, re-traumatize, re-victimize and vilify a targeted individual. And Dr. John Hall talked about this vilifying, victimizing, and traumatizing process and its aspects in his uh, interview with Def, um, <laughs> Zeph Daniel. But back to the fear factor. On the inside, these tormentors are more fearful than the average person because they know what's at stake. And one of these thingies which causes fear in them is, is letting them know that you are documenting their actions via public blog. This act alone drives these cretins and control freaks stir mad and, and wild. Of course, this will bring out the trolls and their controllers and handlers and mass to attack you even more. Eventually they will screw up somehow and this too will get documented and can be used in either a criminal or civil court of law against them. Fear of financial ruin and public humiliation creates a lot of sleepless nights for these individuals. Also, these slime balls depend upon their group and can't function individually. They always have to conspire together by having group meetings and consensus in regards to a game plan. This fact is epitomized in the book of Ezekiel, where he talked about the sewing circles of witches who destroy God's children and then boost up the ones that shouldn't exist in the first place. This sounds harsh, doesn't it? but this is the reality of this situation and this world. If one of them screws up, then that person will be sacrificed for the group, so the secrecy and illusion can be maintained, and that person will get, will start getting gang stalked, him or herself. But remember, the Stasi organization finally fell apart, and their dupe slaves got their names, pictures, and addresses pu uh, published publicly, and were treated like outcasts afterwards. Now, I call that karma at its very, very best. Unfortunately, laws and regulations will never work either, because laws are there to protect the ones at the top of this ghastly food chain. As an illustration, it's totally shocking and sad when one hears about a teenage suicide. The behavior, signs, and symptoms were there for a long time, but clueless people will always be clueless or they are just scared to step in and fight the good fight of righteousness and justice. Just like gang stalking and mobbing of adults, teenagers are systematically chosen, attacked, and socially isolated for an unknown or known reason. Just like a parable, it can be likened as a newborn chicks in a brood or who take their turns at pecking at a singled out chick. This pecking goes on until the chick is physically dies. Then a new chick or target is selected and, a pro and the process repeats itself again and again. There you have their psychological profiles unveiled. These piranha and vampires need to keep feeding and feeding off of victims in one way, shape, or form. And this, doesn't, and this probably won't stop until they touch one of God's anointed ones. And this will be just like the fury carry unleashed upon our tormentors in that movie. I call this karma too. How does one survive this and stay sane and functional? From a personal point of view and many supernatural, spiritual, and mystical experiences, a strong belief in God and Jesus is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and divine protection. We wouldn't be going through this if God didn't want us to experience this for one reason or another. Yeah, it's a mystery, and perhaps this will all sound like a cliché to many viewers and listeners here. What I've learned lately is that this thingy isn't personal, and it's not about me or you. It's all about God's plan in one way, shape, or form. These creeps and cretins are having a grand time and blast now, but it won't last much longer. I just want to be around as a witness to be able to tell them when their world around them crumbles that they should have never started in on me in the first place 
and on my fellow TIs and brethren either. So I guess this video is not only a teaching tool for the newly awakened TI, it's also a public service announcement to you trolls, perpetrators, and gang stalkers. Pride and haughtiness is the precursor of any fall and destruction. That's from Proverbs and Solomon. And Sun Tzu also spoke of this as well. Another way to help you get through this is by taking one day at a time. There will be good days and there will be da bad days with a lot of trauma. Don't take this bullshit personally. Because, because from a spiritual point of view, your tormentors are simply mind-controlled zombies by forces from a very dark spiritual realm. Another thing is get rid of those soul ties which keep the drama going and upsetting you. Or even uh, setting you up for an ambush of some kind. Believe me. Believe me on this one. It doesn't take long to figure out who is compromised in your social circles. Find a new hobby or get totally immersed in a current hobby. Remember, this all is uh, just psy psyops and a game of wits and is at its very best or worst. Unfortunately, there are, there are TIs who are being physically attacked via electronics and psychotronics. Why this is the case, I will never know or understand. This is probably the most severe and inhumane method employed by this uh, criminal element which I've heard of. It's totally disgusting and someone would, that someone would ever do this to another person, including poisoning them or, or uh, doing something to their vehicle, uh, sabotaging it so they'd have an accident. But then we did take a look at the psychological profile of these psychopaths, didn't we? In conclusion, I would have liked to have discussed the spiritual aspect of all of this in a more detail, but I decided against it in, a, in order to prevent feeding the animals that are out there that actually don't deserve to have this information presented to them. Yeah, and that's I'm referring to the gang stalkers and the, and the perps. Perhaps this will come at a later time. This is just a primer for the awakening TIs that are out there and the ones who will be waking up shortly in the future. Things are about to get much more evil as time goes by. However, the spirit is moving supernaturally and protecting and teaching his chosen ones exactly what they will need to know. The bottom line is this. If you have little faith, what little faith you have will be taken away from you. If you have above average faith, more faith will be added on to you. For the ones who have been graced by God, much will be expected of you in the future. Finally, to get a good grasp on the spiritual aspects of gang stalking, just do a YouTube search for Zeph Daniel. I personally don't think that there would be anything else which I could add. He describes it pretty thoroughly. And you do need to do your own homework too. Many blessings, and may the Lord's peace and divine protection be with you always especially to all of you targeted individuals that listen to this audio and YouTube, because this was made especially for you in mind. And I hope this has been a, a great blessings for you. Goodbye.